Hi guys, welcome to your bi-weekly and big shout out to all of you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Cat Terra is now at 50,000 plus plus plus. So I cannot really say to you how much and how encouraging, how much this means to me, how encouraging this is. So without further ado, let me just tell you quickly that on a special uh, this month continues to be expressed. So this is for on and off relationships, for relationships. And if you really want to figure out and find out a little bit more about your partner, generally people use it for testing the possible partner. People use it to actually see what really went on, to reach closure and to really kind of like a confirmation. Yes, that they are not crazy. Anyhow, let's jump in. And lastly, happy birthday to all Virgos. And by the end of this period, it's going to be birth time to shine. So in the meantime, guys, just check my Facebook and join in there as well if you can. Thank you so much. Hi Taurus, welcome to your bi-weeklies. So quickly, uh, we are doing tarot, clarified with uh, Gypsy Oracle. And then we are getting to the interactive part where you can ask your question. And that question can be also uh, for the cross watchers. It's basically for anybody who is participating, viewing. So bottom of the deck well we actually do have massively this nostalgia attraction to somebody to some secret somebody who was making you feel really really good but somebody who might not be that great for you and it could be a kind of manipulator or maybe Taurus you kind of like dipped into your wine glass a little bit too often this can also mean a third person Honestly, this can also mean a secret child. Somebody from the past. It can be all the way down to high school. It can be somebody from who's making you feel like a teenager, like really light, a uh, kind of energy of nostalgia in the air. So I'm sure this is that Mercury retrograde because I'm reading that while still the Mercury retrograde is going on. So, but let's see how will the rest of the um, bi-weekly show. So we have eight of pentacles beware of the sloppy work sloppy approach to something remember how you do anything is how you do everything so sloppiness in one side of the life will actually come to bite you in the other aspects of life so if somebody is just not caring about cleaning their home and kind of like tying their loose ends and paying attention to the details why do you think they are going to pay attention to the details in a relationship and the devil is in the details especially in relationships well there you go because of that not paying up is going to tell you well sorry let me go with this rug under your feet and you're getting a tower moment it's could be something unexpected it's, could be shocking it could be something that really kind of creates turbulence something that basically is telling you look this just couldn't go on anymore we have to rebuild it differently and kind of like let's start from the beginning it's just simply the structure cannot hold anymore the uh, base of your reading is like four ones so this is good this is kind of like willingness to go to the next level of some kind of thing and generally uh, I guess maybe this is what it is sometimes you ask a person you propose to a person and then all of a sudden they disappear from your life because they realize the trajectory you are on and they actually never see the trajectory of happening so it looks to me you guys are willing to go to the next level and maybe that next level is not built properly it's kind of on a really wobbly kind of things and everything will collapse so hence there is a need but still there is that um, urge behind that so it means if you're just uh, flirting you want to kind of start dating if you're dating you want to kind of start being uh, solid kind of like uh, relationship serious relationship engagement engagement to marriage proposal etc marriage to children children to second child third child and so on and so forth well you have aids over here so that was some kind of communication could be email exchanges 
could be things going on around um, so it's kind of like was a positive period I would say and this could be also love arrows it could be traveling as well huh bearing something something needs to die sometimes this, this this card talks about suffering look you have the three dark cards not everything in the dark is bad as you can see from this card but the death and tower right now are telling me uh, it's going to be a shakedown of some kind of foundation and really really for you guys your earth sign and you depend on things being built properly and it's going to benefit you but i i will not lie to you this doesn't look like it's going to be that easy I have and so but the, there you have it, your lucky charm is coming right what do you have to say for tauruses Inst instead of showing your furry butt there you go she likes basil look at that it's I prefer her eating basil than catnip and so now it's so spectacular she can eat it watch up watch up and basil has this magical properties of protection as well so guys it's always good to kind of keep it on your table and it cleans the air also um, if you you don't even have to dry the leaves if you're taking a bath and just like put a few leaves in the hot water it kind of like has a really nice protective effect as well so you have the lovers reversed the world turned upside down like maybe you're making choices that are really not good for you maybe you want to continue with something and this will kind of lead to suffering it's kind of like i can see you're being thorn magician reversed you want to make something happen at any cost magician is like somebody who's oh well yes it's going to work oh my gosh yes i'm going to change i'm going to quit smoking tomorrow yes i'm going to start being fit i'm going to going to going to insert whatever you want and the moment when the date is over they're back to their merry ways right it is definitely asking for rebuilding you have two eights you have these cards and something about love cannot happen because it's it's not founded properly guys one two three four major arcanas all talking the same thing this is a biggie and i think what it is in the environment you're kind of reaching um people who are possibly a little bit scared or maybe a little bit feeling out of place who maybe don't know the panic is setting in a fear is setting in a fear of going forward now this is the third eight now this is like look eight 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 loudly speaking really loudly and then you have a four and 13 ultimately makes four so this is just a second decker double decker of the same issue how do you build things hopes and fears okay there is a seven you kind of like are willing to fight for your standpoint you kind of like are having lots of naysayers but you're saying mm, you know what i am right in this one i'm going to going to fan you off i kind of believe in myself and it could be that you have lots of opposition but there are actually advantages to your state uh, to your position and to your attitude so um it just like avoid being defensive because defensiveness always shows that maybe you doubt yourself so that's something to kind of like see to reassert ultimately it's all good you're kind of like reasserting yourself creating some kind of balance and this is a card yes everything has to happen right time right place with the right attitude with the right person but oh my gosh it's going to be fierce for you you might even be a raging bull at some point i think this is your trajectory but another thing is like this is one pentacle i don't have um cops but i do have lovers i have three um wands so it's gonna well, I actually do have a water here so that that works for fire so fire scorches earth right you guys are really trying to figure something out and you're not 
able to kind of break into some kind of fortress that seems to be some that's that's kind of like the level where you want to go to but sort of like that door is closed and you're going to actually insist on your own principles over here because you kind of like at this stage you really really have faith so horoscope signs you have Gemini Sagittarius you have Scorpio Aries possibly Sagittarius I don't know if I said it so let's clarify a few cards over here because oh my gosh guys I definitely will put in my calendar just to uh to kind of like these two weeks will be intense really will be intense but it's it's for the best it's kind of like ending well so let me see this tower some communication about hope something stolen or feeling of a loss of some kind that's what's going to be your tower moment let's see this magician who is and why are you convincing yourself into something hmm maybe you don't wait anymore waiting not waiting let's check one more card what is this magician here for tauruses magician for tauruses magician for tauruses well it's going to uh you're going to be lucky you're going to have some lucky break but not you see you maybe are maybe are tired you're impatient waiting on something or for somebody and maybe you're taking a, a kind of um, consolation means okay so it's good card it kind of foretells um, well to me it's almost kind of like a second prize but this kind of worries me there is kind of jealousy is this build on the right level because this is all kind of like up there okay let's see who is blocking you here i think your instinct to kind of like never mind i'm not waiting for it because this is making me crazy despaired i'm despair i'm feeling despair i'm jealous i need a support i'm not getting the support so something has to happen maybe you're waiting for something to happen to be a sign so let's see what is that stipulation again it could be somebody long distance it could be waiting for somebody uh, wondering how things will resolve right maybe there is a relationship that is currently not going on and needing a little bit more support very much like uh what shows here so let's see what is this lovers reversed Lovers reversed is uh, you've got an enemy i'm wondering if you are your own worst enemy over here or somebody is messing up with your relationship it lovers is just generally choice it could mean a choice between two people choice between two circumstances choice between good and bad right um somebody's interfering with a choice over here you kind of like cannot get something you really really want because of somebody's interference let's see this death over there what is about that death for Tauruses what needs to finish lies lies cannot continue you need to have a trust in yourself and in the other so that's I think makes sense you're going to insist because you have that inner ability to kind of recognize what is true what is not true and and kind of like stick for yourself so let's see this temperance temperance okay young woman which way was it came sideways is there somebody interfering this can be a child by the way and I'm wondering if situation with children has to be balanced or if you are a younger viewer 
or if you're not younger you are kind of like reconciling maybe that two sides of yourself maybe that's what's needed i'm wondering if some of you are starting to feel like oh my gosh i'm not getting any younger and how long is this going to continue and when do i go to the next stage and i'm so fed up i'm going to take a prize and door number two and secondary prize it's saying to you to trust it's saying to you co to continue that you have to find that faith in yourself that's what it is you have to trust yourself taurus i just want to get one more yeah you kind of like self-confidence is important it's it looks like if you kind of don't reignite the confidence don't lose this battle you're going to be challenged about that and however you know um this means that you'll actually possibly overcome people who could be a little bit um they're trying to clip you down they are trying to tell you uh, that reality is different from what you see. So one of those things, do I believe you or do I believe my lying eyes, right? My temperance is foretelling a really, really great success, right? Because it is uh, a balance achieved and after actually merging sometimes two different things. And looks like you're really kind of um, right now reinventing yourself here and trusting yourself which is this trust and a faith and in a vision that you are going into it's actually very admirable quality so now we are getting to this interactive part i have pulled two cards already i'm going to pull one more but i'm going to hide it away from you so you don't see it so guys think of a question that you want to answer for question and door number one door number two and door number three no picking and you cannot change your mind so if you pick this card the answer is moon you still have lots of things you need to learn look at these eyes you know the cats have the special ability to see only cats and owls can see in a complete pitch dark they need to just like orientation that's why they have the whiskers it kind of like allows them to orient themselves and go through small places to get through it mind you wouldn't work for my matrix was much wider um this card is talking about look they're like those mushrooms that can look very edible but they can be very poisonous moon talks about deception moon talks about secrets uh, it could be just Pisces in your life that you have. It could be that something has to be revealed, right? Because moon is generally a situation where you go, everything is so scary because like kind of like this moonlight gives off a light to our eye that cannot like really process possibly, right? So it could be a changeable and a certain situation it's kind of like is either fraught with deception or it will re reveal important truths it's kind of it's hard for you to know what is real right now and that's kind of like uh, if you're taurus uh, this is very significant because that's kind of how it was your your entire reading kind of like what do i believe in right so the door number two hmm, the hangman feeling a little bit stuck but at the same time, kind of it's a time to surrender to whatever happens. Let the chips fall. Let's see where everything lands. Do nothing. Just do nothing. And look at this aura. Well, it's not that I'm doing nothing just because I am still, I am still inside of me. There's lots of activity happening. I'm seeing this things from a different angle. I'm seeing this for maybe the first time, how other people see it. This is not a card that per, like foretells any emotion or anything happening. The hangman is stillness. So things are not moving forward here. And here I would say move with a huge caution. Things are not as they appear to be. And the door number three. Queen of Swords, hmm, Queen of Swords cuts everything out of her life that doesn't serve purpose, anything old, 
anything that is not practical, anything that comes to her life that she recognizes, oh, oh red flag, off you go. So this is a good thing, but it means it's going to be a very logical decision. It's going to be based on things that are tried and true. And you will be able to decide and decision you make here is going to be a good one. But you have to ask yourself, do I really want to? Because, you know, beware, you might get it. And you're going to start asking yourself those questions. So, Taurus, thank you so much for your time, for viewing this. I uh, appreciate that. If you are new, please subscribe. Um, also, check my Facebook. And for the private readings, uh, please contact me at www.cattero.ca. And until October readings, I love you.